on guys back in the garage today and man have i been all over the place i've been working on the ls swap on the jeep put some new exhaust tips on the charger and then today i'm going to be doing some electrical upgrades to the jeep now whether you have any off-road vehicle it could be a jeep it could be a toyota it could be a humvee you're eventually probably going to want to do some upgrades such as adding pod lights adding some rock lights if you need an air compressor lockers i mean the list goes on and on and there are a couple different ways to do that you could wire it up yourself with your own relays and fuse box you could just have a rat's nest of wires underneath the hood or you could go with a clean simple setup which kind of already pre-built for you and that is what i'm going to be doing today i'm going to be installing the s-tech switch system and getting a bunch of things under the hood and some new stuff wired up and mounted it's crazy to think I haven't really done any electrical upgrades yet or even added a switch system because I have tons of things I need to get wired up. Such as the LS swap, Stop. the whole Jeep side. <laughs> yeah, skip over that. No, I nope, this is about the, the pod light not being wired up today's video. So the whole, this, the whole video is about the pod light. <laughs> it is not wired up, it is just for looks, it is mounted. Oh my gosh, I need to fraud. wire that up. I know, I'm a cheater. <laughs> they look good though. <laughs> also my front, uh, not front lockers, well yeah, my front axle, since doing the axle swap, I have not wired anything up. I need to wire up an air compressor and I need to wire up the front locker. Also in the rear, since doing the rear axle swap, got a JK Rubicon axle in the rear, so it's an electric locker not wired up yet either. Clearly I have a lot of things I need to get wired up. And one of the ways I wanted to do that was just, I wanted to keep it clean, I wanted to keep it simple, and I want it to be in one unit which is pretty much why I went with the S-Tech system setup. The one I got is obviously made for a TJ, but they make them for a JK, JL, JT, uh, make them for some Toyotas and also some Chevys. So, and they also have a universal system out there too. So pretty much anybody watching this probably has one of those more than likely. So what about my Prius? Universal. I heard a gear, is a gear set? He's adding some, uh, Jared? some Baja yeah. design lights on oh, his Oh yeah, Prius. Jared's got a pretty sweet, uh, his Prius probably has the best Pretty lighting sweet. setup oh, ever. Yeah. But, so this S-Tech system, I mean, and also, look, I mean, it's voted best in class. It's, I don't know who voted for it. I voted. I'm running this on the JK, and it's a really nice system. Voted best in class. I don't remember when I voted, though. <laughs> <laughs> Let's open it up, check it out, and see what I got to work with. Got everything out of the box and on the table here that you don't have to be an electrician to install this. Pretty much anyone who gets this kit will be able to install it themselves. Oh, now, oh. So you're saying you don't need me. What are you doing? I'm your electrician, baby. Is that, you got the meter out, <laughs> ready hurts. to check everything. It really hurts. Does that hurt? Yeah. Do not. Do, do not. Ooh. That was a bad idea. So everything is on the table and we have everything else we need, right? We got our fuse and relays box, our positive wire, we got our breaker right here. One thing I really like about the switch panel is that you can custom order your switches to have different labels or to have different color switches. It is an extra fee, but I think it's worth it because with my, my lights, I now have them in red. So I have my pod lights and my rock lights right here. And then in blue to differentiate from my lights, I've got my compressor, my front locker and my rear locker. And then I didn't know what I wanted on this last switch. So I went with a dual USB port and I know that will definitely come in handy. Now go down to the video description below. There will be a link to this kit and it will also have a discount code. So go save yourself some money and get a super cool switch system. Ben has run this in his JK for a while and we really, really like it. Before I get started on this install, I know there are tons of people who know how to do their own wiring, but there are also people who don't know how to do wiring and still attempt to do it anyway. And that can go wrong really, really quickly. Ben has a little uh, show we, for we us here. A little, a little science experiment. Science experiment. You ever seen all the Jeeps that just burn down randomly? A lot of it's due to wiring. So my name is Ben and I'm hooking <laughs> up my new, my new grill lights for my JK, right? Nice setup, nice it's setup. It's an LED. So so I don't, I don't even know what a fuse is. I don't need a relay or anything. It's work, and, it's on. You know, we're, we're riding down the trails, right? And we're cruising. And you know, I didn't really see that this was, was, Woo! oh no, my Jeep. Oh, the light's good. We're still good, right? But we're still going down the trail. We're riding and it didn't blow up. I really wanted this to blow up a little bit more. Like catch fire? Yeah. Ow, that's kind of woo! I can smell the heat. Yeah. Oh, we're back on. We're good. There's no <laughs> issue with my lighting, guys. We're good. We're good. It's so, all back to normal. Go a little further. Normal. We're, you know, we're just we're still cruising a little bit. And that scared me. And we're not. We're. Uh, I think I think the batteries did. Oh look, it was trying to, right? Oh yeah. 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 Look, it's like starting to melt and everything. Yeah. I think it was still a success. It was a success. Very so, failed. It was a failed success. What was your conclusion? The conclusion is either wired up all yourself with fuses, relays, and good switch placement, or buy a kit like this. Now let's really get started on uh, mocking this switch panel up between my sun visors and uh, get the panel down and really start cutting. Way. Cutting into 
to your dash or your paneling or your trim is always a little scary because once you cut, you can't go back. But junkers are full of these, so it would have been fine. Now it comes with a little template to kind of cut into. Um, mine didn't line up completely or like perfectly, so I just kind of cut the template out, lined up where I wanted it to mount at, and then cut, cut out my hole. So now my switch panel just slides right on in. And voila. And it's not crooked. It's not, you haven't mounted it yet, but <laughs> it shouldn't, shouldn't be crooked. It looks good. Now I just need to uh, mount it onto the, onto the panel. And then I need to move over to underneath the hood where I'm going to mount my fuse and relays box. Don't follow my lead under the hood unless you've got an LS swap <laughs> TJ that's not completely the, wired The good thing yet. about this is it's only like, it's only like three wires. Yeah. It'll be easy. It'll be easy. Let's find a place to mount, mount this thing though. Since I'm poking around under the hood a little bit, I thought I would show off the V8 just real quick and back to the relays and fuse box. Over here is where I think I'm going to mount it. It comes with a universal bracket, but I think my best bet is going to be mounting it directly to the fender right here. I'm kind of running out of room under here, guys, and pretty much nothing under here is stock, very few is stock. The V8 takes up a little bit more room, so I'm just gonna put it right here directly onto the fender. Now, all these wires coming out of the fuse box, it's not a lot, it's pretty simple. We've got the output, which is gonna be numbered as well for your switches, and pretty much anything we want to directly wire up to the switch panel, it's going to be connected to here. We've got our positive. We've got the wire that is going to go directly to the switch panel. So I'm gonna run this through the firewall and up to the switch panel. I have got the ground for the relays and fuse box. And then last but not least, I've got another positive. And what this is going to do, a couple different options I can do with this one. We can either run it to a switched positive. And what that would do is whenever the T, T whenever the key is turned on, that is when the switch panel will have powers. It's not going to work until you turn the key on. You could run this directly to the battery, which would mean that the switch panel will always have power. So if you wanna run your air compressor while your vehicle is still turned off, or if you have a mini fridge and you always wanna run it, that would be the option if you wanna do, do it that way. The only thing to think about there is if you're not driving your car every day, like if it sits for a couple weeks, it might drain the battery. But the kit also comes with something that kind of takes that into consideration too. We've got a breaker over here. So what this is gonna do is protect the circuit, but it's also gonna make it easy if I wanted to, you know, leave the Jeep parked for a while, I could just turn off power to the entire switch system. And then I wouldn't even have to worry about my battery dying. Now, probably sounded confusing. I probably could have worded it better, but I think most of you guys are gonna know what I'm trying to say. So I'm gonna get this mounted to the fender and get, the, uh, get this wired up to the switch system inside of the Jeep. guys i know this is completely random but one of my favorite garage like accessories is this freaking vacuum because it just goes right in every garage needs one of these it literally plugs into the wall i can vacuum the inside of the jeep my metal shavings my plastic shavings <laughs> you need one i'm not gonna lie i use it a lot too system is installed. Finished it up last night. It was a pretty easy and simple process as you guys saw. What was not easy though was the fall I took on my skateboard about two hours ago. Uh, <laughs> my wrist is pretty swollen. I think I sprained it so I'm not gonna hold the GoPro it's anymore. It's bad. It's, it's pretty swollen. Um, so Ben's gonna be the cameraman for the rest of the whoop, whoop. rest of the video but let's get in here and check it out. I really like how this turned out. It's a nice clean look. It fits up here nicely. Almost looks like it should have came like this from the factory, but obviously not because it switches. So you see the switches are backlit. If you want to turn them on, you turn them on and it lights up on the top. And then over here, I have to turn on my compressor switch before my front and rear locker switches will activate. So why did I do this? So basically if we're driving down the road and someone says, Ooh, what's that button and clicks it, <laughs> my rear locker is not going to activate going down the highway. Cause if it did, it, was, well, it would, it would try. It, it would try. <laughs> So this safety measure, I custom ordered it to do this. So if I want to turn my rear or front locker on, I have to have my compressor on to turn them on. And that's when they'll activate. Man, so I was hoping that, that we would be cool. driving down the highway and I turn your rear locker on just to see what happens. But no, <laughs> not it wouldn't even be a good video. No. It, it, that is a pretty neat feature though. I, yeah, I like it. It's just a cool safety feature. And besides, if I'm gonna turn my rear one on, I'm probably gonna turn my front locker on too. So, yeah, so the compressor would already be on. And then the last switch, I guess I don't need to open it to see. I got my USB ports and then it also shows the battery voltages, which voltage, which is pretty cool. Overall, it's a switch system. I liked this one because I could customize the switches and the wiring. It is an extra cost, but there's a 20% off discount code in the video description below. If you're looking for one of these, hopefully that'll help you out. Now let's move on to what's next. 
The next step would be to wire everything up, but I think you've seen enough wiring for a little while. I think I do, it's just we don't want to wire anything up. I have a question for you guys, <laughs> non-wire related. So I have a single ARB air compressor over here. These are getting really hard to find. Luckily, Offroad Elements had one and they sent it down to me. But my question for you guys is where should I mount it? Because the engine bay, like under the hood, it's getting a little crowded in there. I'm sure I can find a spot for it, but I know people run it elsewhere too. So what do you guys recommend? Where are you running them? Where, where's a cool spot to put it? I mean, under the engine bay is cool, but put it in the back. Maybe in the else. back. Let, let us know, because I'm not 100% confident where I want to put that yet. But what I am about to wire up, or we are about to wire up, are some new headlights. So I've had these for over a year, but LS swap over everything, right? <laughs> so I've got some JW Speaker Evo J3 headlights. They are for a JK. Ben is running them on his JK, and I really, really like them. They're really bright. They have a really cool look. His are different though. He has more of a black, black ground on the back of them, like in the inside of the headlight. Mine are more of a, like a graphite gray. It's like a graphite gray. gray. They look really It's gonna cool. look really good with the, uh, like paired with the steel at hood, I think. I think so too. And looking at my hood here, look at like my, guys, my lights are like falling apart. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. It's like the plastic is deteriorating, deteriorating. The, the or whole G. I think it's the UV, like the Texas sun. All, all like of it. The clear coat, everything. The headlight's crazy. I've never seen that. It's on both. Well, the new headlights. What's really cool is that um, it has the blinker built into it, which is kind of cool because what I'm thinking down the road, or not down the road, a couple months from now, is I could eventually ditch this blinker because it's going to be in my headlight and put like an off-road light or something in here. Yeah, take this out. Put like a flush. Yeah. Uh, like a like a, a steel plate with your own bracket type thing mount, yeah. it, mount an off-road light in here i think that'd be kind of cool since i'm gonna have my turn signal and my new headlight so let's go ahead and uh get these out of the oh, they're out of the box so let's go ahead and get these old headlights out and see what i need to do to make these jk headlights fit as ben would say this is definitely a two-hand job <laughs> <laughs> you want to pull that side yep. for me thank you all right old headlights out i don't even know what to do with these they're like, trash they're trash Anybody want them? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't give those away. Since these are JK specific, they obviously come with JK plugs. I've got my headlight, then I've got my turn signal. So for the headlight piece, I got an adapter off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. And then for the turn signal side, I'll have to cut and splice it later when I try to do my cool off-road headlight thing in the fender. And then wrap the You really don't want to do any more wire today, do you? Not today. My hands my hands are not doing it today. <laughs> um, other than that, this should fit. It's a seven inch light, just like, just like the one I have up there. So I don't think I'm gonna have to do anything else other than use the adapter. Just do everything one-handed. Balls. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> this headlight's not gonna work. You go over a bump and it's gonna turn off. They work. Woo! Yeah, they right. work. Yeah. Yep. Cool. All right. Headlights went in without any issues. JK headlights and the TJ to LJ, pretty easy apparently. Um, I am going to do like a nighttime test at some point, but I want to get the turn signal hooked up, get some cool like off-road lights in here, and also hook up my Baja design lights at some point, just do like a full full night test. But for now, I'm gonna fire up the LJ just to hear the LS rumble, and then uh, let's check out the headlights like from a like a back up view, because all we're looking at right see. now is just the grill. Yeah, see what they look like. <laughs> Saw you smile right when you started it up every time. There it is. I was about to like try to go for a drive. Or You're over here, it's like, oh, it sounds so good. Headlights are on. I think they look pretty cool. They have like a modern, a pretty modern it look looks to them. Modern. Probably one of the brightest lights you can put on a put on a TJ. Oh yeah, that's pretty crazy. I love the design in it. I feel like an LJ or like TJs, like CJs too. Like they're more like like classic, classic Jeeps, right? But I still like a little pop of modern in there. It does look. It, it adds a little little pizzazz. Little flair. What does it look like when they're off though? Too much. Let's see. Nah, it's gonna look good, I think. I like it, especially once we get like the grill repainted and everything. I definitely like the gray background instead of the black. It kind of lightens it up a little bit, especially because you can't like it doesn't really look gray, but it definitely it just makes the headlight and not look, look as dark. It doesn't look as dark, no. And I have a lot of gray on the Jeep anyway, more of the the steel it gray, the hood louver, the wheels. So that's, that's a nice touch. Got the headlights knocked out, the switch panel knocked out. 
tons more projects to come. I kind of need that switch panel in there because I need to start hooking up my lockers, my lights, uh, get the air compressor in. So that was kind of the next step in order to get to all the other projects I got going on. As always, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. My name's Cassie. Keep cheap and classy.